What a dreadful debacle this devolved into. Oh, it still stands strong. It has merely been temporarily trumped by the megalithic magician and his flaming facade. Indeed, a fortuitous finding we could never have anticipated upon arriving in this dismal dimension. I am excited to examine it upon returning. Calm your concerns, comrade. This Sapphire scientist has friends with formidable facilities all over our world, and on countless others. He's right, Runa. Dormammu feeds off this dimension's endless arcane energies. He can't die in this place. But we most definitely can. And if Dormammu spills this black magic into our world, he would be unstoppable there, too. Of course, without the Reality Stone, he can't merge our dimensions together. And without the darkness to fuel him, he wouldn't last long. So, if I can open a portal back to our plane of existence, perhaps we can take the stone somewhere safe. <gasps> or at least somewhere safer than this. We came here to escape the chaos of Earth. Our people were trapped at the heart of far too many conflicts over the centuries. Assailed from all sides by those who wish to harm or exploit us. Only by removing ourselves from their world could we ever truly hope to find peace. So, tell us, my dear. Why have you opened our doors to the same chaos we fought so hard to leave behind? No matter how we may try to cut ourselves off from our home planet, my queen, we still have friends and allies who need our help. Who are we to ignore their plight? We are inhumans. As both humans and mutants alike have repeatedly reminded us. We stand alone. And unless your friends can convince the king otherwise... So do they. <laughs> Something bothering you, friend? Don't mind my sister. She can be a bit stubborn, but Medusa's heart is always in the right place. Once she understands what's at stake, she'll come around. It's the king you have to worry about. Let's just say Black Bolt gave Adelan's last uninvited guests a free tour of the moon. Without oxygen masks. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? Lucky for you, he's in a good mood today. I think. He's a bit hard to read since he doesn't talk. But you'll probably be fine. For the sake of my sister, I will hear what you have come to say. But I guarantee no more. Now speak. We know of these stones. And the fact that you would bring them here puts all of Adeline in jeopardy. Such recklessness is typical of your kind.
That time has long since passed. We have been hunted by humans for centuries. The scars from our war with the mutants are still fresh. The only allies we have left dwell within this city. The Inhumans hide from no one. Our removal from Earth was a strategic maneuver for the protection of our people. I... cannot. Adelon may be among the stars now, but Earth will always be our home. I believe my king would agree. Our cousin Gorgon will escort you to the lab. some help fast. He's not going to make it. Zane! Gorgon has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Or oh, hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlan, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what, but rather who? My father. Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. If you're lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. Oh, hey there! How are you doing? Because I'm currently hanging out on the moon with the human royal family, and I'm totally trying not to freak out. Well, yeah, but I'm an Inhuman who lives in Jersey City. These are Inhumans who live on the moon. There's a big difference. Not that I know of. But I do have their poster on my bedroom wall. But 
because I have school and the commute from the moon to Jersey kind of stinks. Ooh, unless they're willing to loan me Lockjaw on weekdays. I'll get right on it. You know, once our current universe-shattering dilemma is all wrapped up. Sorry about all the craziness here. Family, am I right? They're a bit intense, but they mean well. Blackbolt and Medusa do whatever it takes to keep Adelan safe. Even if it means they sometimes forget about everyone else. I didn't really. Sure, I may be a bit more willing to reach out and help my fellow heroes, but at the end of the day, I'm still an inhuman. We'll always stand together. Yeah, well... There is that. My deepest apologies. Adelon was built to be a safe haven. Alpha Primitives. They were a subclass of the inhuman race, performing labor and other menial tasks. That is a harsh way of putting it. The Alpha Primitives merely do what they were designed to do. I have my suspicions, but I dare not believe them. Salutations, my tenacious teammate. Merely a hypothesis, but having the progeny of our nemesis as an ally could prove advantageous. Indeed. In fact, it might become more beneficial in our quest than you can currently comprehend. Of course, I will need to run an in-depth analysis. Fear not. I once collaborated with the Inhumans to evaluate the effects of their Terrigen Mist on my fellow mutants. Much of my equipment is still here in Atalan. Performing scientific studies on the moon is at work. It's my furry blue dream come true. Well, do you have something to say? I do not. Despite popular belief, Thanos is not my true father. He slaughtered my species and took me from my homeworld, kicking and screaming. As he did to all his so-called children, myself and Nebula included. Some of his experiments were clearly more successful than others. No, I've never seen him before. But I have heard whispers of one true heir. Whispers Thanos himself desperately sought to silence. Thanos worships death. To him, creating life is not an honor. It is an insult to his very nature. You have no idea. But you will soon enough. Can I help you? 